Zach Burton steers Rice High, Green and Blue, to victory in the Class 2 Tourmaline Handicap Photo, HKJC, Andrew Hawkins reports on Sunday's card at Shaw Tin Rider Zach Burton made big inroads in his quest for a second Jockeys Championship at Shaw Tin on Sunday with a four-timer, including three for leading supporter Casper Founds. Burton's victories on the Founds train trio play at Montreal and Rise High and the John Moore prepared solar patch took the Australian jockey to 104 wins for the season, for a drift of chief rival Joao. Moreira, who went winless on the card, it's a funny feeling, I have ridden four winners and I'm happy with that but I know there were some missed opportunities there too. Burton said. Still, four winners eats into Joao's lead and hopefully I can make the most of every chance I get over the next two months. Founds and Purden have forged a noteworthy partnership in recent years that was only bolstered by the pair's combined treble. However, the trainer said that he would be supporting both riders in their jockeys' championship battle. It's exciting for us as racing fans and exciting for the two boys. Found said. Both Joao and Zach have been riding for me, but recently Zach has probably ridden for me more. The rides are there for both jockeys, though, so whoever wants the rides can have them. Inter France or Eyes High entered the Class 2 Tourmaline Handicap as a warm 2.7 favorite. However, the four-year-old had to survive interference in the stretch and a post-race objection before he was officially declared the winner of the 1,600 meters closer, it was a good effort for my horse to pick up and win that race. Purton said. There wasn't that much speed early and they didn't go quick mid-race. Then, when my horse was hampered, it really put Rise high off balance and I thought at that time he was laboring for a little bit. The last 75 meters, though, he showed plenty of heart to find the line, Founds continued, he's a nice horse, there are bigger and better things in store for him. He's going to be a very nice prospect next season. He's enjoying his racing now and it's really showing, his Australian import Montreal, formerly trained by Guy Waterhouse and Adrian Bott in Australia, had arrived in Hong Kong with a big rap on him, cemented by two wide margin victories at his last two starts in New South Wales. He showed that he was a horse-headed hire with an effortless two and a quarter length victory at his second shot in start in the Class 3 Lapis Lazuli handicap over the straight 1000 meters, we expected plenty of improvement with him from his first to his second run, Found said. He's a big horse and we didn't give him a lot of work going into his first run. We've treated him all along like he's a really nice horse and, now he's shown us that we can head around the turn with him. I think a nice 1,200 meters will be even better for him, like Rise High, I think he's a triple figure horse. Hong Kong is tough once you get past 100, it separates the men from the boys but if he can stay sound, I think he has quite a future here. Paco Boy winner the first leg of the Founds Purton treble came up in the day's opening race, the Class 4 Alexandrite handicap 2,200 meters, with play it. Purton made a decisive move at the 1,200 meters, dashing from beyond midfield to the lead, with the Paco Boy 5-year-old sustaining the run through the line. The thing in Hong Kong is that when you get to races at 2,000 meters and beyond, particularly to the 2,200 meters, there aren't many horses that can run the distance, Purton said. So if you are on the right horse, you can make it a staying test and give yourself a chance. He was in that category. He is fit, Casper's horses always are, and there was no point sitting back and trying to catch them because he hasn't shown a liking for that. Purton also took the feature Class 3 The Racing Club 10th Anniversary Cup Handicap 1,400 meters aboard Moore's Solar Patch. The three-year-old made it two wins from three starts in Hong Kong, with Moore suggesting that the gelding could furnish into a Hong Kong Classic Mile contender next season. He took a little while to hit his straps in Australia. Moore said, we had a little bit of trouble qualifying him and if he hadn't won a dip switch we may never have seen him up here because he was running out of races. 
I've always had a lot of time for the horse though, his trainer in Queensland Brian Guy told me that we'd have some fun with him and he's really turned into something quite nice, it was a muddling speed today and that can bring a lot of horses undone, but Zach didn't panic, he was able to force a passage, and what was exciting was that the horse was determined to race through the gap and then hit the line strongly. Now we've got a horse that is a great addition to the stable and one of the better horses for next season in the bigger races, I'm an optimist and I'd say the four-year-old classic series is a big chance. For him, Santa double jockey Alberto Santa also scored a double, taking the first section of the Class 4 Garnet Handicap 1,400 meters on the Derek Cruz train Fossey and the Class 4 Onyx Handicap 1,200 meters on trainer Frankie Lor's debutante looking good. returns to Happy Valley on Wednesday night, May 23, while the final group won of the Hong Kong season, the standard chartered champions. Bet on Hong Kong racing with THETOT. -E Come.